Hello everybody, this is Lone Wire here, um, happy holidays if you're watching this in December and November, and today I'm going to show you an alternative to Windows, to the good old Windows XP operating system. As you can see, as you, as you all know, Windows XP support will end in April 8th, 2014, from the time of recording this video, it's four months away, and and some people's computers are perfectly f still are still running perfectly fine but they don't want to put a lot of money upgrading especially when even windows 7 still costs a hundred dollars and windows 8 a hundred around a hundred you get the home premium or the regular version and it and the price goes higher if it's more expensive and some people are gonna pirate and i don't recommend pirating Windows, but here's a good free open source alternative, and it runs super fast. This is, and this is Ubuntu. This is based on Ubuntu 13.10 Saucy Salamander, which is the latest, and it's running instead of running Unity, it's running LXDE desktop environment, which stands for Lightweight X11 des desktop environment, and it's super fast, even for this old computer with a Pentium 4. 2.93 gigahertz, uh, 3.5 gig of RAM, and a G4 6200. If it wasn't for the 6200, I would I would have got gotten something more graphics intensive because the processor, the RAM is good enough. It's powerful enough for Ubuntu. It's just the graphics. Some people might say, "Oh, Linux is so hard to use. There's commands and all that crap." No. Linux is actually pretty easy. For example, there's a there's a um, there's a software center to if you want to get any software you want. Say in Ubuntu, all I need to do is type Audacity. Say if I want Audacity, I just type Audacity. Oops, I type Audacity wrong. My bad. There we go, and you can even double click to check if it's good. Wow, this is really good, right? Or if you want, if if you're a more advanced user. In fact, for me, this is actually easier because sometimes, for me on my computer, Ubuntu Software Center sometimes glitches out, so I just go to Terminal. It's so easy. sudo apt get install audacity. Oh. My password. You want to continue? Yep. And there you go. Your package is installed. Simple as that. And it's installing. Oh wait. Oops. Also, in like Windows, you also get different desktop. Like like Mac OS 10, you get like multiple virtual desktop for this same here, but you, instead you get two. Quite frankly, I don't use this, but I don't know how to turn it off. So, as you can see, if this is similar to Windows XP. You get your start menu, you get all your programs here, la di la di da. Bam, like a this. All your programs here, and now it's in done installed. That's it. You don't you need to do is type password and type sudo app get install, and then you type whatever programs you want. Then it automatically installs for you. And like I said, this is open source, but that doesn't mean you can't install paid applications. You can even install Microsoft Office on this. But instead of Microsoft Office, I have LibreOffice Writer, which is similar to Office. You can even read and create Office 2010 DLCX or even. Like 97 to 2 that were 97 to the 2003 documents you'll see you can create it and I even have a uh, true type Microsoft true type fonts like Times New Roman Arial Comic Sans it works perfectly you see this is a test testing Libre Do files, save as. As you can see here, 
just save as a open document. You can save as a DLCX and a, and a regular Microsoft Word 97 2000 XP and 2003 DLC. It's compatible. It's awesome. You could also this, as you can see here, this is Writer, which is a replacement. You also get Presentation, which is LibreOffice, and Press, which is an alternative to PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Well, I'll type here PowerPoint. And this is all free. This is all free. This is all free. You could also have Google Chrome here. You, with Lubuntu, it doesn't use a lot of memory. So for older computers running XP, this is great. Because this minimum system requirements. Let's go to Lubuntu website. Let's go to Lubuntu. Oh, Lubuntu.net, my bad. My bad. Oops. All right, it the minimum the minimum system requirements. It can run on a Pentium 2 processor or Celeron system running at 128 megabytes of RAM. So you have an older computer, you could repurpose it to make it like a. Like a, you can't like on a like a super old computer with the Pentium 2, you can't really watch YouTube smooth, smoothly. But you can like say browse the web, do some Word document, and you could you, you could repurpose it, and you don't need to buy a new computer. Save a lot of money. And this is free, by the way. This is open source. Like you don't need a pirate. You could even redistribute it if you customize it. You won't get any copyright issues. You all that trouble. Nope. And this is highly customizable. You could you could install another um desktop environment or keep this. And yeah, it's really good. Wait. This is the latest version. Even on Ubuntu on my computer because of the graphics, I can't I was not able to run Ubuntu twelve point oh four smoothly. This is thirteen point ten. At least this year and this is a two thousand and four computer, keep in mind. You could and as you can see here, even like say, even this window is pretty smooth. Look at this. Should be. This is similar to Windows XP. This is quite user friendly. Say if you want something, you could just do sudo app get PPA. But you could PPA. You could Google it. This is actually user friendly if you don't need a lot of stuff. But this can also be for like. People who want to explore more in Linux and discover the commands and stuff, this is perfect for older computers. For my computer, which even though it's 2014, it runs pretty smoothly. So I just check a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Say I want to do the Chrome Store, which is a centralized Google Chrome. Minimal lag. Let me. Minimal lag. Minimal lag, as you can see. Even I'm on a, I'm on screen recording right now. Keep in mind this video, even though it's a great video, it, it is video intensive. I'm not gonna play the whole thing to avoid copyright. This also has Firefox pre so you get everything you need for a basic computer. Uh it's updating, my bad. Get everything you need. It's user friendly, it's free, and it's great for old computers. So you don't really need to shell out money to buy a new computer, especially Windows 8. You don't need it. You could just get this instead, and you could add a few more years to life on for more of life. Add a few more years of life on your old computer, which is great. All right, I just want to express my boon, my opinion on Lubuntu 13.10, and how it's great for an alternative for Windows XP. Thank you very much, and have a great day.